and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is longest consecutive subsequence which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so basically we will be given one array arr of integer type and whose constraints are ki arr dot size can be as max as 10 raised to the power 5 and the elements can also be in the range from 0 to 10 raised to the power 5 okay all right and what we have to do we have to return the longest subsequence such that elements in the subsequence are in consecutive orders okay so basically uh, we have to tell ki let's suppose how many numbers are present in this array which are in which are consecutive so if max num max uh, series max range max series which we can get we have to return that okay i think a little bit it will be clear but let me tell you uh, in more detail so here you can see one array is this two six one nine four five three okay all right so what's the maximum long longest consecutive subsequence let's see that so here we can see one is this two okay two number two is present and uh, let's suppose two is there so what we will do we will find how many elements are before two which are consecutive and present and after two which are consecutive and present okay all right so i've got two and now i will check here is one present there yes one is present there okay let's write it and after that i will check is zero present no is zero not present okay all right so again i will I, my current element is two i will again check here is three is present yes three is present okay all right right three after that i will check is four present yes four is also present okay uh, right four after that four after four what five is five present yes five is also present okay all right so now let's five as well after that is six present yes six is also present okay all right let's write six as well okay is seven present no seven is not present okay all right so this is one consecutive subsequence i have got this is one consecutive subsequence i have got and now what i will do i will simply remove or uh, cut all these elements so that i do not include it again okay all right after that i will check six so six is already done so i will not iterate over it one one is also already done okay nine nine is not done okay i will check i will write nine again after that i will check Ki yaar is 8 present? No, it is not present. And then 9 greater than 9. 10 is present? No, 10 is also not present. Okay. So this is another subsequence, consecutive subsequence. So there are only two consecutive subsequence. And uh, what's the maximum length of this? Maximum uh, longest consecutive subsequence. What is longest consecutive subsequence? Subsequent. This is and its length is 6. I will simply return 6. Isn't this cool? Yes. All right. Now let's see another example. I think the problem statement will be clear and a little bit of approach will also be clear. Isn't it? This is what we are going to do. But look, there can be more than one approach here. So let's see one by one what approach we can use and which data structure can we use. So let's see two approaches I am going to explain. Okay. All right. Look, um, this is another array. Let's see. Okay, all right. So what I will do, I will I've got 20. So I will first of all check key what's the maximum length of this array. This maximum length, maximum element. What's the maximum element present in this? This is 20. Okay, all right. So what I will do, I will make an array from 0 uh, till 20. Let's say 21 length array. Okay. To fill uh, 21 length array. What's the maximum element? 20. So let's make 20 length array. Something, anything I'm I'm typing. Okay. All right. So let's say this is 20 length array. Okay. Now one I got. Okay. I will fill. I will count the frequency of one. Okay. Now after that two is present. Yes. So two's frequency is also one. Okay. All right. Then three I've got. Okay. So three frequency is also one. After that four also I've got. So four I also fill. After that five. No, five is not present. No. After that look. Nine. So let's fill nine. Nine is something here. Let's say. Okay. All right. Three. Three I have filled. Ten. Uh, ten also let's fill it here okay all right after that four four is filled 20 let's fill 20 somewhere here okay this is 20 and then two two is also filled okay so this is uh, let's say one array and i have filled the every element present in the with frequency or count whatever now after that what i will do i will simply iterate over this array and until let's say look this is one long this is one subsequence isn't this so until i'm getting one i will keep on increasing my count let me tell you that as well how we are going to do so now this is my array which is filled so i have my count as well um let me delete this two it is not needed here so let's say my current and my max okay to all the two things i have there so current current is basically what i will start from here so i have got one okay current will be one now 
and max will also be updated to one okay all right after that i've got two i've again got one so it is still uh, same so again i will update my current to two okay and max will be updated to two as well okay after that, again i got three okay so now current will be updated to three and max will be also updated to three after that again i get four okay so current now will be updated to four and max will be four okay all right after that now i got zero i got zero here because uh, no element is five is not present so here i will get zero when i will get zero i will update my current to zero because now there is longer subsequences uh, there at this point at this point there is no longer subsequence okay after that again this is zero this is zero this is zero so no issues here i get one okay so here it means one entry is there so i will update my current to one but it current is less than max okay all right so max will not be updated again i get this okay so current will be two but i will not update my max why because max is greater than current and after that again i get zero when i get zero what i will do i will simply move, make my current to zero okay in this way we can iterate over this whole array we can iterate over this whole array and uh, get our max i think uh, this approach will be pretty clear to you and what will be the time complexity of it what will be the time complexity time complexity will be basically iterating over the max length max element present of this array so if we write it something it will be we go of max of arr okay something we can write max of uh, arr and in this way but and space complexity will be same space complexity will also be same why because i am iterating over the whole maximum let's say if 10 raised to the power 5 is present 10 raised to the power 5 is the maximum element let's suppose there are only two elements okay first one is 0 and second one is 10 raised to the power 5 okay so what we have to do we have to make a array of 10 raised to the power 5 size we have to make an array of 10 raised to the power 5 size which which is very very performance low which is very low performance because we don't need to okay all right so space and time complexity of this approach will be both uh, what we go of max of arr i think we can write this in better way but i am not able to think let me know in comments as well how we can write it max of arr okay both is time and space but can we optimize it more because as i've already shown you about one drawback of this approach okay all right now let's recap to the previous approach which i told what start from the first element like i have got two so what i will do i will check for all the uh, consecutive elements less than two and all the consecutive elements greater than two and update my count okay so for that i have to check for one is one present now look is one present this is very very good thing is one present so to check if one is present which data structure we can use which data structure we can use to check this if one is present or not in constant time yes you have guessed it right it is set it is set so we will simply put all the elements of this array into a set i check we start from the first one first element whatever i get okay two i get so two will be removed from the set count will be one after that after that look I will check i will keep on checking there will be two while loops one which will check for the less elements than two and another one which will check for the greater elements than two okay all right and in this way count will be increased and uh, there will be one max which will be updated okay i don't want to explain it too much because i think when i will write the code of it you guys will definitely get this okay now let's move on to the code section but before that i if you have loved the explanation if you have loved the two approaches please subscribe the channel and like the video and i also made one linkedin post about my extension which I want you guys to please like and comment on that post as well. Uh, the link will be in the pinned comment. So if this channel has helped you in any way, please go and tell about that in the LinkedIn post. Okay. All right. Now let's quickly move on to the code section. Then uh, what I will do. First of all, if you remember first step, make a set of integer type HST is equal to new hash set and put all the elements of this array ARR into that set. Okay. For int i ar and hst dot add i okay after all the elements are added to the hash set now what i will do i will simply make a for loop again for each loop for int i of arr and now we have to check how many less than this i consecutive elements are present and greater than i and then we will form a subsequence they will form a subsequence and uh, we will get our max one so to get to store the maximum our answer i will use int answer is equal to zero okay all right and after that look here we will take few variables first of all count current count 
it will be in CN. Let's name it at current as well. Current and after that I will take two variables as well. TMP1 is equal to I and TMP2 is equal to I. Okay, all right. Now first thing which I will check is if this I is already uh, traversed. If, if this I is already let's say uh, traversed by any other uh, number let's say for this one if I, when i will go to this one this will be already uh, let's say traversed when i'm looking for the two because two then i will check for the one as well which is less than two so in this way this will already be traversed okay so how we can check if this is already traversed or not look if hst dot contains i if it is contains it means it is not is traversed yet and now we will traverse traverse it okay so while hst dot contains tmp Okay. While HST dot contains TMP, um, what I will do, I will simply keep on checking till how long it is contains. Okay. So first of all, I will increase the count to let's say C and not current. And after that, look now if it is present, I will have to remove this from set so that I don't uh, traverse it again and again. I hope you are getting this point as well. So TMP is removed now, and now I will update my TMP to next one. It will be TMP. Let's make it TMP here only. Okay. All right. So in this way, all the consecutive elements which are greater than i including i are traversed okay so now we have to check for the lesser elements less elements let's say uh, i think you guys are getting okay so while hst dot contains tmp2 okay look one more thing if i will if i will uh, start from tmp2 which is i we can see i will be counted two times we can see i will be counted two times okay to reduce that what i will do i will start tmp2 from i minus one and again same thing current plus plus Okay, HST dot remove TMP2 and now TMP2 will be decreased once. Okay, all right. So it's basically something like I will I will uh, make a dry run of it once again when I will uh, let me complete the code. I will make a dry run again. Math dot max of answer comma current. Okay, so if my current answer is uh, if my current is greater than the answer, I will update the answer and at last we will simply return the answer okay let's try to compile this i hope it will be getting accepted it's a very easy code and uh, yeah it's getting compiled let's submit this once but don't go anywhere i will uh, explain this i will make a dry run of this as well if you have if this is clear to you okay all right it is getting accepted as well okay it's getting accepted all right let's make a do a quick dry run of this very quickly okay so this is our set 2619453 which is added to my set okay all these elements i will again start from i which is arr okay i uh, start from this two okay so uh, till hst dot contains if hst dot contains i set contains i yes set contains i okay till how long it contains keep on adding the current okay so first of all two is present okay so current will be one okay and uh, tmp is also what tmp is two tmp is two okay all right so tmp is present yes okay to remove two from the set all right and after that uh, current will be 1 and tmp will be now changed to 3 okay so now i will check for 3 is 3 present yes 3 is present so what i will do update the current current will be made 2 and uh, hst dot remove tmp 3 remove 3 from the set okay and now tmp plus plus now i will check for 4 i will check for 4 okay let's check for 4 is 4 present yes 4 is also present remove this and update the count to 3 okay and now i will check for 5 I will check for 5 okay is 5 present yes 5 is also present so remove 5 from the set and uh, update the current to 4 and now i will check for 6 in this way we will keep on doing 6 is also present so current will be now made 5 and now i will check for 7 i will check for 7 okay so is 7 present no 7 is not present all right so now uh, this first for for loop will be done now i will come to second for loop which will start from uh, i which was 2 so it will start from 1 okay is 1 present yes update the current current will be now made 6 and 1 will be removed from the set as well and now at uh, tmp minus minus so now uh, tmp2 which was 1 it will be made 0 is 0 present no 0 is not present so yeah that's it now this while loop both while loops will be done my answer will be updated okay and now again when i will come to let's say let's delete all this now again when i will come to this 6 of this array this if condition will fail because we have removed 6 as it was already traversed okay as it was already covered when we were checking for 2 okay so 6 will not run 1 will not run 9 will run 9 for 9 this uh, I will, it will be present because it's not covered and again this all things for i hope uh, i have already explained this too much and it will be very very clear to you this code you will get on my github make sure you 
follow me on github i have added a linkedin post so make sure you sh uh, share your feedbacks on this uh, on that linkedin post i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and subscribe the channel and bye